Alright, Shalom. Shalom. This is brothers from the GMS North Carolina camp back with another video. Before we go any further, we'll give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashim, Rakar Kodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone for these chance of truth. According to the Bible, we'll rule well in peace and blessings to the like the nation of Israel. Today, we're going to go into a lesson on fear, you know? You know why you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans should fear the Lord? You know, that's a question uh, a lot of you um, Israelites have. I thought God is love. Why should we fear the Lord, you know? Because you got a lot of these false pastors and these churches saying that, oh, God is love. You know, we don't need to fear uh, a, a loving God. No, but Yahweh Shema Hashai is telling you to fear him. And ultimately, it's a, required to, it's a requirement to fear Yahweh by Shema Shai, And we're going to go into some of the reasons why you should fear the Lord, you know? Uh-huh. You got it. This is Proverbs chapter 1, mm -hmm. verse 7. The fear of Yahweh is the beginning of knowledge. Yeah, the fear of Yahweh. Who's Yahweh? Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father who you people ignorantly call God, you know? The fear of the Lord, you know... Is the beginning of knowledge, uh -huh. and that's not talking about the knowledge that you get from your um your college degree for for going to college, or you know going to high school for 13 years of your life. No, it's talking about the knowledge from the scriptures and the, the wisdom, knowledge, understanding of the scriptures. So if you desire wisdom, if you desire the breakdowns, the understanding of Yahweh Shai of the scriptures of the word. What? You gotta um, fear the Lord first and foremost. That's uh, one reason why you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans shall fear, shall fear Yahweh by Shema Uh huh. Because the beginning of knowledge is the fear of the Lord. Mm hmm. So from the top. Kind. This is Proverbs chapter 1, verse 7. The fear of Yahweh is the beginning of knowledge. Mm hmm. Go ahead. But fools despise wisdom and instruction. Yeah, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. What does the scripture say that, uh, get Isaiah 30, 36? Mm -hmm. You know, because we're coming into troubling times, and um, pretty much the only thing that's going to be able to keep us stable, keep us with the same mind, is the scripture, you know? A healthy dose of the fear of the Lord, you know? The scriptures say they that fear the Lord will not disobey his word. You know, we're coming to the time, uh, the hour of temptation, you know? Where the um, where spiritual demon Satan is gonna use the so-called white man, red Hebrew Edomite, uh, according to the Bible, to try to entice us to take the RFID chip, mm -hmm. try to entice us to go against the, the 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 will of the Heavenly Father, you know. But that hope, that healthy dose of fear in the Lord and trusting Him, and having faith, is what's gonna be able to keep you stable. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. This is Isaiah chapter 33, verse six, in wisdom. And knowledge, yeah, and wisdom and knowledge go ahead, shall be the stability of thy time. Yeah, it's what's going to be able to keep you stable during what time? During the time of Jacob's trouble, during the times when all hell is breaking loose. And what, how do you uh, obtain that wisdom and knowledge? By fearing the Lord, first and foremost, you know, by um, by fearing his judgments, you know, and doing exactly what Yahweh by Shema Shai has commanded us to do in these last days, you know. And that's, you know, to not eat pork, not to eat shrimp, crab, lobster, uh, preach the word, be instant, in season, out of season, not worshiping false pagan gods. Uh -huh. These are things that Yahweh Shema Shah has required of us. Is it good? Yeah, it can. Start from top. This is Isaiah chapter 33, verse 6. In wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time. Uh -huh. And strength of salvation. Go ahead. The fear of Yahweh is his treasure. Yeah, the fear of Yahweh by Shema Shai is his treasure. And what's the true treasure? These are this 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 knowledge, you know, the true uh, riches is the wisdom, knowledge, understanding of the scriptures, you know? Uh -huh. Get on Psalms two and eleven. And I think I got Deuteronomy ten. And twelve. Yeah, but get Psalms two first. Alright, here it is. This is Psalms chapter 2, verse 11. Serve Yahweh with fear. Mm -hmm. Why well, aren't we his servants, you know? So we're supposed to serve him with fear, you know? When Yahweh Shema Shai is our Lord, is our master, you know? We don't want to disobey our Lord, right? Go ahead. It says, and rejoice with trembling. Yeah, so serve the Lord with fear and trembling, you know? 
So you're supposed to be uh, walking on eggshells. Yeah, can I say that? <laughs> you're supposed to be. You're supposed to be walking on eggshells when you're in this truth, you know? Not wanting to offend Yah Bashima Shai. Not wanting to um, uh, provoke the Holy One of Israel onto anger, you know? Get them, Deuteronomy 10, 13. You want to say anything? No, you're hit, you hitting on the head. Can't. This is why you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans should want to fear the Lord, you know? Go ahead. This is Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 12. Mm -hmm. And now Israel, which consists of you so-called Negroes, Latino, Native Americans, what doeth, yet how will thy power require of thee? Yeah, so what does Yahweh Shema Shah require of thee, you know? Look at that word, the choir goes back into the man. Mm -hmm. You know, you got, you know, um, you got a job application and you got to meet these requirements uh, in order to get the job or, you know, a list of requirements. These are uh, the list of requirements for being the children of Israel, for being the children of the Most High, you know. Uh, and the Yahweh Shema Shah has made the list. Let's see what it is. Go ahead. It says... But to fear Yahweh, thy power. Yeah, and the first thing on that list is for the most high, for you to fear him. Why? Because the Lord wants us to be a wise and understanding people. But he's saying, and he, he, he only wants us to worship him and, uh, and um, not to worship false idols and go and follow um, false doctrines, you know? Uh -huh. So what? How do we do that? By obeying his word, by fearing him, by fearing his judgments. By fearing all the terrible things he can do on to you for not hearkening on to him. Uh -huh. Which is the beginning of knowledge, according to the scriptures. Exactly. Start from the top. Okay. This is Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 12. And now, it's like you. This is Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 12. And now, Israel, what do Yahweh thy power require of thee? Mm hmm. But to fear Yahweh thy power? It's a Yahweh Shema Shai wants you to fear him, you know? He don't want you to, uh, he didn't say love him, no. He said fear first. The first thing on that list uh, is to fear him. Go ahead. To walk in all his ways. Mm -hmm. Which is keeping the law, statutes, commandments of the Bible. Go ahead. And to love him. Which is the same thing, you know. We show our love by keeping his commandments. Go ahead. And to serve Yahweh with thy power with all thy heart mm -hmm. and with all thy soul. Yeah, exactly. So giving all, giving all you can to serve you out by Shema Shai, walking in fear, you know. Because if you don't serve, get yeah, Hebrews 10, 31. Because if you don't fear you out by Shema Shai, the Lord is gonna jack you up, you know. Especially if you're, uh, especially if you're a uh, uh, Israelite, you know, so-called Negro Latinos or Native American. This is Hebrews chapter 10, verse 31. It is a fearful thing. To fall into the hands of the living power. Yeah, it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. Who's the living power? Yahweh, you know, Yahweh by Shema Shai. Ultimately, what? The Heavenly Father gave you a, a choice to fear Him now or in the near future, you know, when your deepest calamities, uh, your deepest uh, terrors are coming upon you, when there's no water to drink, you can't feed your families. Uh, there's race riots in the streets. Martial law has broken out. Uh, people are, are, are committing cannibalism on the shores of America. What? Then Yahweh Shema Shah is going to make you fear him, you know? Because it's going to be evidently clear that Yahweh Shema Shah, the God of the Bible, is bringing these terrors upon America. Any more than that? No, that's it. Come on, just get on. We'll close that with um, 2 Corinthians. 5 and 11. Yep. You know, Lord's willing, this uh, lesson will sway you sincere brothers to continue to fear the Lord. Fear the Lord more, you know. Uh, pray for more fear, you know, because what ultimately what that's going to give you more knowledge, understanding. That's going to put you in a better light with the Lord. This is Second Corinthians chapter 5, verse 11. Knowing, therefore, the terror of you. Yahweh Bashim al Shai. Yeah, knowing therefore the terror of Yahweh Bashim al Shai, the power, you know, his might, Yahweh Bashim al Shai's um, judgments that he's brought upon the wicked for all their wickedness and, and all the um, things he's done to the evildoers that didn't want to fear him. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. It reads on. We persuade men. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we persuade men, you know. And brother always going to that word persuade means to threaten, you know. So what, we're threatening you with the words of the Lord. Either you're going to fear the Lord 
or you're gonna pretty much die. You're gonna perish in um, this upcoming uh, destruction that's coming to America. It reads on, but we are made manifest unto the Most High. Mm -hmm. And you know that word manifest means it made known. And I trust also are made manifest in your consciousness. Yeah, exactly. So the words of Yahweh are um, we have broken them clearly. We have made clearly made known the judgments of the Lord, whether you want to fear Yahweh or not. You know, it's a requirement that you Israelites do. If you're a so-called Negro, Latinos, and Native American, you know, you're the true children of Israel, and it, Yahweh Shemashah requires that you fear him, you know? Stop eating your pork, stop eating your shrimp, crab, lobster, stop smoking weed, stop smoking cigarettes. You know, um, stop uh, trying to sleep with the next man woman, which is committing adultery. Stop uh, worshiping these false pagan idols. These are things that you need to stop doing, you know, and to come back and fear Yahweh by Shema Shai and serve him with, uh, with fear and trembling, you know? Uh-huh. Want to say anything? Uh-uh. But Lord's willing, you brothers, but edify, you know, uh, just another reason to fear the Lord, you know? But before we go any further, we give all praise, honor, and glory. To the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakar Kodesh, Divine Star, Apostles and Elders, the Great Millstone, for teaching us the truth according to the Bible, rule well, and peace and blessings so for like the nation of Israel. So next time we say, Shalom. Shalom.